Good morning, everybody. I get the question a lot. What is the hardest fighting fish on the Gulf Coast in the state of Florida? What are your favorite ones to catch? Like which ones like really inspire you to get your pole, run out the door and try to hook something? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the top six hardest fighting fish in the state of Florida in salt water. Which ones you should target? If you're going to hire a charter captain and you want to spend good money, which ones should you go after? So in this video, I want to talk about the big mammer jammers, the ones that'll break your poles, the drag screamers. Let's talk about them, guys. I got a jack. Oh, got one. Oh, Jack's oh, got one on the tree trunk. So when I started fishing, I really just kind of went out, grabbed my pole, went out to the beach, and just tried to see what I could catch. When I first started fishing, I really didn't know which fish would really get your adrenaline going. I really didn't know what to target. I really didn't know like what is out there and I should be catching. There's some really good fish out there, some really aggressive fish out there. So my number six fish, six fish on the list that you should be trying to target is the redfish, the bull redfish. These are guys that are over 27 inches. They're massive, they're beautiful. They are something to see. They beat out the snook because I really didn't think a snook could fight harder than a bull redfish. But some people are gonna argue on that one. But I'm going with the bull redfish because they're big, they're strong, they put their nose down and sometimes they can be hard to get up. They're aggressive and you can find them all over the Gulf Coast. Here in Pensacola, they get to be about 40, 45 inches long. Sometimes they catch one that's a little bigger than that, very seldom. I think we caught one 47 inches last year. You know, anything over 27 inches really here is considered bull red. Catch a lot of them 33 to 37 to 38. But these fish are beautiful, they're awesome. And with cut bait, mullet, shrimp, you can usually run into them. So that really rounds out the number six spot. The number five spot is really my favorite fish to catch. Why? Because he's delicious. He's in every sushi shop. No, he's still there. Oh! <laughs> oh! I got you! Check it out, Jack's got a big tuna on. On a that. top water. On a top oh water club. You can literally eat him raw. I mean, like I'd eat his throat like right there on the ground if I had to, all carnivorous style. But it's the black fin tuna. You can catch them in, you know, pretty close to shore, within a mile, quarter of a mile, sometimes on a kayak. You can catch them off the rigs. They're a great fish to target. And they're really kind of rare. You don't catch a lot of them around here, but you catch some of them. I've lived now. I've done it all. <laughs> I've done it all. Blackfin tuna, he fights hard and he will hit a topwater plug, which I showed in one of my vlogs. And it's just an amazing fish. They're beautiful and it makes out my number five spot. But the number four spot, guys, and I'm halfway through my coffee, so I'm getting revved up. The Jack Carval is an awesome fish to catch. One, they're beautiful. They're aggressive. They'll hit almost anything. They'll grunt at you when you catch them. They can make that burp, 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 burp sound, and it's pretty cool. If you're trying to catch them out of a kayak, they'll start that death spiral underneath your kayak and you're trying to grab me. Sometimes that can take 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> if you've got a 3000 series reel, he can dump your entire spool if you don't watch out because these things, when they hit, they're gone. I mean, they, they run like a tuna. They got a tuna tail. They come in schools and they just blast everything. And they can get pretty big. I mean, they can get pretty big. These guys are really built for speed. If you're looking for a game fish that you can't really eat, you can, but it's debatable. The Jack Carval, they're out there. They're a lot of fun. They make great shark bait. So don't be afraid to like target Jack Carval because that'll be an afternoon of like arm busting, back breaking, just grueling, sweating, nasty fighting. Like they, they, they'll put it on you. My number three fish that is probably one of, I mean like this fish is an amazing thing to catch. It should be on every angler's bucket list and that is the tarpon. This bad boy will fight you. When you hook up to him, he's doing a skied up fishing show. I mean, he's do, he's explosive, he's thrashing all over the place. He could land on top of you, you could land on the boat, he could spool you, he could put his head down and never jump. The Silver King, AKA the Sultan of the Beach, that's what I'm gonna call him, I'm, I'm dubbing that name right now. The tarpon is a majestic, ancient creature, and he is awesome. Like his head's this big around, and he'll blast a mullet straight out of the water. 
you gotta put it on your list. You gotta go look for these. Get you a charter guide if you can't do it yourself and you go look for them. You can find them anywhere from Pensacola to Louisiana to South Florida. They migrate up and down the Gulf Coast starting like, you know, mid summer and into the fall and then they head back. And when they head back down south, nothing, they'll hit nothing. They just take off. They're done with us. They're done with us by then but they're they're pretty amazing all right so the number two spot the man in the gray suit the sultan of the reef the dude that's gonna steal all your good snappers he's gonna steal your amber jacks he's gonna steal everything and that's a shark all right there's many sharks out there and some of them fight harder than others the bull shark i don't even want to tangle that guy if i ever hang another bull shark i'll just cut him off because i fought one of these bad boys for two hours one night underneath the three mile bridge I fought him from the Gulf Breeze. I fought him from the little hump of Gulf Breeze to the big hump in the middle of the bay, to the middle of the bay and back to the little hump. I fought him for two hours, really two and a half. And like, it was grueling. When I got him up, there wasn't much I could do with it. Just a bunch of teeth. They're strong. But then you got the black tip, which is great to try to catch on the beach. That sucker, he's gonna, he's gonna give you a show. He's gonna, he's gonna burn your drag. He's gonna spin you around. He's gonna blow out your biceps. So, and then you got the tiger shark, you got the mako, you got all those, all those are amazing to catch. Tiger shark's beautiful, mako's beautiful. Mako's majestic, like you might never catch one of those, but like, it's worth a try, because mako, he's something else, something else. I think, I think Pensacola actually holds the record for the largest mako caught, like in the winter, on the beach, from the beach. Check that, bit, check that photo out. But I would say pound for pound, it's debatable between the second and first spot. Pound for pound, a shark, strong, ferocious. He could hurt you. Like they are, they. That is a hard fighting fish. He he's nasty. He's he's gonna play for keeps. He's gonna be bullheaded. He ain't gonna quit. Don't, I mean, you want to fight? Go shark fishing. But this brings up my number one spot. The number one spot. And I'm gonna give it to the amberjack. Why? Because I think I almost slipped a disc last year on, on an amberjack. What was that? <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, oh my god, my god dude, off. I got him. I got him. I got a big one. <laughs> Did you catch that on camera? No, I missed dude, it. Dude, come on. I had to go to the chiropractor the other day, literally after fighting an amberjack. You get those big ones. This is the AKA the, the reef donkey, if you don't know. They call them reef donkeys. They call them all kinds of names because they're that strong. A lot of dudes don't even want to mess with them. You go jigging, you throw a bait out there and you've got them chummed up and they're just hammering everything. Top water, like, they're, they're kind of like a Jack Creval. They'll hit anything. They just want to destroy and eat. But when they hit your bait, straight down they go. Straight down. And you got to try to stop them before they get to the reef and cut you off. And if you've got a $9 jig or spoon or whatever on that thing, you're probably going to lose it. Especially if you get out there in the deep water where you got some big ones. I mean, we're talking like big ones. I mean, we ain't talking about these little reef donkeys, these 20 pounders, like 10, 15 pounders. I'm talking about like 30, 40 pounders. You're going to slip a disc. You better have a big, some big gear, like a winch, like a truck winch, because these things they'll they'll steam up one of those promise but that's summing it up guys that is my top six fish i know some of y'all won't agree with it but i had to put them in order somehow and the snook like i just don't think he can be pound for pound with some of these i mean they get big and they fight hard and so does a bull red i mean big bull red fights hard i'm not saying any of these, like any of these fish don't fight hard I'm just saying shark and an amberjack and a tarpon, I don't think a snook's relating to that. Or really a bull red, because I caught a bunch of bull reds. But I hope you guys like this video, guys. Comment down below what you think is the hardest fighting fish. How you would arrange them, number them, one to five, not one to six, which ones you think that are the hardest. And we'll debate about it, it'll be fun. Everybody gets to throw some jabs at each other. I'm sure y'all gonna tell me I'm an idiot. But I'm pretty strong. I'll take that to the chest. See you guys later, tomorrow. Don't forget to share, like, see you later. Might be a keeper here, boy. What are you